What's up everybody, Eagle Man here today with another Wax Break. Today's Wax Break is going to be 2000 Fleer Tradition Hobby Box, 36 packs in all. It's going to be a great break, I'm really excited for this one, but holding on to this box for a while. And um, I just realized that I've been opening up a bunch of 2000, from the year 2000, a bunch of cards from that year. Not sure why, um, not like I've been impulsively buying that year. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, 2000 Fleer Tradition. Wow, I love the look of those packs, that's great. This uh, reminds me a lot of Heritage. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this break. I'm really excited for this. There's some awesome stuff we can pull. There's a chance to get some autographs in this. Let's go ahead and see. Let's pull out the odds real quick before we start. If you can see the odds right there, go ahead and pause it if you'd like to take a look. But yeah, there's some cool stuff that we can get in here. Um, it's 358 card set. Uh, oh, sorry, 450 card set, 358 um, with the base set. And there's tons of subsets in it. But there's a chance to get some autographs and some cool stuff. Oh, I love the old school packs of this too. It's got like the papery feel. That is really cool. All right, let's see what we get. It's right on top. We got Pedro Martinez, award winner subset. Daisy Relaford, Denny Nagel. Looks like we got our first insert, the Who to Watch die cut. Chad Hermanson. This is a cool die cut insert. I have a few of these in my collection. But uh, there's not too many big names in this die cut set, unfortunately. But they look amazing. I love these so much. So that'd be a cool die cut set to complete. Uh, we also got to look out for glossy parallels. So the this is more of a papery cardboardy feel, just like the old school. But the glossy parallels are numbered. I don't know what they're numbered to, but uh, we do got to keep on the lookout for those. Okay, that does it for that pack. As far as big names go in this box. Um, I think it's really just the like the obvious Hall of Fame players like Derek Jeter, Cal, and Ken. Really just looking for those names. Not too many massive rookies. I have a box of 2001 Fleer Tradition where that has the uh, Pujols and Ichiro rookies featured in that set. So I'll we'll be opening up that soon on my channel, so stay tuned for that. So we've got another Who to Watch die cut. So that's pretty cool. This is Adam Kennedy once again. Love the die cuts from that era. They always turned out great. Really popular is John Smoltz. Jose Mesa, who had a little stint with Cleveland, who lost the 1997 World Series for us. It's a shame, but, you know, happens to the best of us. All right, next pack. Chuck Knobloch. Another who to watch. This is three in a row. Mark Quinn. That's our third Who to Watch die cut. Really hitting those pretty big. And World Series Game 4, Atlanta Braves, New York Yankees. Roger Clemens there. Very nice. Again, I'm pretty close to completing this set, actually, for 2000 Tradition. That's usually why I buy hobby boxes, actually, is just to try and complete the set. Let's see here. Team prospects, yeah, no one big. Craig Biggio there, Kerry Wood, Russ Davis. Oh, nothing in that pack. Bunch of base cards, no parallels. The parallels are pretty obvious. The glossy cards are a little bit obvious. You can tell a pretty stark difference between those and the regular base cards. But uh, oh, look at that, Cal Ripken Jr. right on the top. That looks nice. So we got a Cal base. I'll set that one aside. That's a great one to get. Um, Carlos Beltran, Rookie of the Year. He is, I think he's an underrated player. I think, well, in the hobby at least, he's an underrated uh, card to collect. Not a lot of love for Beltran. So it's nice. We got the Cal. Looks great. Is that Chan Ho Park? Frank Thomas, the big hurt. And, oh, we got an autograph. Nice. How about this? got a fresh ink auto orber moreno never heard of the guy so it looks like it's got a card stuck to it peel it off nice and easy nice so we got an auto check this out that's a sweet auto it's like uh embossed into the card there's like a solid gold plate that's a really nice signature too so very happy we pulled an auto that's pretty sick looks good too wish it were of a bigger name but you know Beggars can't be choosers. Really nice. Got our auto. Is that a Derek Jeter? Chad Curtis. Hmm. I don't know why I said Derek Jeter. Nice. We got the auto. That's that's pretty exciting. 
What are the odds for the auto? Let me, let me check this. Wow, so hobby exclusive fresh ink are one in 144 packs. I only have 36 packs here, so I'm, I'm definitely beating the odds with that auto. That's sweet. I'm going to have to check the price on that. Not a big name, though, so there's Barry Larkin. And, ooh, check this die cut out. That's sweet. Die cut of Cal Ripken Jr. That is beautiful. Nice. I love this one. That's one of my favorite cards we pulled so far. Nice Cal die cut. Cool. So now we're, now we're on a roll here. Got a nice auto. Got a cool Cal die cut. Got a Cal base. Doing great. Here's Mariana Rivera. And another... Wow, check this die cut out. This is... Oh, it's not a die cut. I was, oh, it is kind of a die cut. It's got the corners rounded. It's like an acetate card. Hallswell, Sammy Sosa. This is a very thin card. It's like much, much more thin than a, a credit card. There's like nothing written on the back. That's kind of weird. So Sammy Sosa, another good player. I'm going to set these die cuts on the left here. Nice. Yeah, good looking card there. Really cool. Doing well. Yeah, I'm loving the look of these inserts, which is... They look really, really good. I want to see what else we can pull in here. I know there's different types of inserts we can get. I would like to pull a parallel of some sort to show you guys what that looks like. There's Barry Bonds on top. That's a good base card to get. And nothing much in that. All base cards. So Fleer Tradition, I think, is pretty comparable to Topps Heritage. I think I said that towards the beginning of the video. But I'm not sure when Topps Heritage came out. I think Topps Heritage came out after Fleer Tradition did. And another die cut. Another Who to Watch. This is of Randy Wolf. So we're getting these pretty often. It's our fourth one. And then Russell Brannion, Danny Peoples. Yeah, these, uh, these prospect cards really don't have too many outstanding names in them. I think the Tradition Update set has better names in them. Still trying to work on that set. That one's a little bit tougher to get my hands on. Sandy Elmar Jr. on the top there. And another Who to Watch die cut, Rick Ankill. Cardinals. So check out the stack of die cuts here for the Who to Watch. This is our fifth one. Pretty crazy. The old school die cuts were really popular back then during this time frame of card collecting. Card collecting had slowed down quite a bit at this point. And uh, big name brands were trying to get an edge on different from the other companies. So they started doing crazy things such as inserting die cuts, much like this one here and insert, inserting uh, jersey relics and autographs. Of course, they were much, much more scarce back then than they are today. Whereas today, you know, we will get a hobby box and it's guaranteed one auto, two autos, sometimes four autos. Whereas a hobby box like this, you know, it's a one in, what does it say? One in 400, 144 packs to get an auto. Luckily, we got one, but it's still pretty scarce. Looks like we got something different in here. Pretty unique. I'm actually going to slide that to the back. We'll get to it at the end. There's Fred McGriff, Crime Dog. He should definitely be a Hall of Famer. Uh, it does not make sense why he's not in the Hall of Fame. And we'll see what's coming up here. Something that feels unique under my hand. So we've got Red Dividend Sammy Sosa. So another Sammy Sosa insert. Not a die cut. But a good-looking card. I like the red border. It kind of accents the Cubs uniform really well. So another good insert. That's of Sammy Sosa once again. Very nice. As always, as I always do with my breaks, I'm going to be doing a recap towards the end of the video. Looks like we get another dividends insert coming up. We'll be doing a recap at the end of the video of all the cards that I might pull from this box. So stay tuned for that. And this is of dividends Ken Griffey Jr. Very nice. So hitting the big names with the inserts, Cal, Sosa, times two, Griffey. I wish the auto was a little bit better. I don't know what we can get from those fresh ink autos, what the autograph checklist is. There's another Ken Griffey Jr. League leader. I'll set that one aside.
But technically, we still have a chance to get an auto. But I think we've uh, used up all of our luck at this point. Oh, these cards are, like, shedding themselves all over the, uh, the frame here. Because we've got another dividends coming up. Line on to Shields. And dividends, Jeff Bagwell. So the red border is starting to remind me of their uh, 1990 set. Oh, where's that Donruss? Why am I drawing a blank right now? Yeah, that was Donruss. 1990 Donruss. I didn't mean to disgrace the 1990 Fleer set like that. Yeah, 1990 Donruss was just probably one of the worst sets ever made in baseball history. I'm not saying the dividend set looks bad. It definitely looks good. I'd really like the finish to it. So I am going through these base cards pretty quick. I want to make this break. There's Ricky Henderson on the Mets. Don't want to make this video too long. But I definitely want to take my time looking at these cards. They're beautiful. It's a great set. I love the throwback stuff. So I love when the products do that. Topps Heritage is one of the more favorable sets from the year for me. I enjoy looking at it. There's a Derek Jeter checklist, actually. Now that I look at it. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to it. Oh, actually, I'll set the Derek Jeter down. Who knows? Might be worth some money. Okay, nothing much in there. All base. We'll keep going here. Keep grinding through these packs. There's Ivan Rodriguez. I'm getting really excited to open up that 2001 Fleer Tradition box now. Look at these cards, are just amazing. And it looks like we got another Who to Watch die cut, Jeff Davenin. Not familiar. Got Johnny Damon behind him. There we go. Pick up the cards nice and careful. This is a great break. I'm I'm loving the look of these cards. Getting lots of base too. There's ten cards per pack. Is that what that said? Yeah, ten cards per pack. So three hundred sixty cards total in this box. And who to watch? Alfonso Soriano. Nice. That's one. Of, I think that's one of the better ones to get. Actually, Soriano wasn't a bad player. He's the first name I think I actually recognize from that insert set. We are getting. Oh, this is Derek Jeter base. Very nice. Derek Jeter base. A little bit, little bit off-center, but nice. Really good base. And Mike Piazza right after that. Some New York Sluggers there. What are the odds to get the uh, the Who to Watch? One in three packs, gotcha. So those are pretty common. Get, uh, Bagwell there. That's a second Yankees photo that we've gotten. Keep looking at these odds. So 450 base set. Uh, what are the odds of getting the 10-4 uh, the one? So the 10-4, the 10-10-4, that's a weird way to say it. One in 18 packs. So we should be expecting another one of those. Then the Hallswell. Hallswell is one in 30 packs. So very nice. Let's get one of those. Might have a chance to get another one. Perhaps. Ken Griffey Jr. base. Very nice. And Sosa McGuire Chipper. Good group of guys there. It looks like a different colored border for some reason. I don't know. It just looks kind of weird to me. Hmm. We've got uh, Greg Maddox right on the top there. Outstanding picture. And nothing in there, all base cards. Pile starting to get a little high. Starting to wobble a little bit off of the camera. And we've got the award winners, Scott Williamson. And another who to watch, Jeff Davenin, once again. So is that the second? Yeah, I think that's the second one we've gotten of him. Yeah, it sure is, Jeff Davenin. Actually, that's the third one we've got of him. What? Three in a row for Jeff Davenant? I was going to say, if we had four in a row, I would have lost my mind. But three Jeff Davenants. There's Alex Rodriguez. I just love these packs so much. Like, it's got the old school feel to them. It's great. 
When I say old school, I'm referring back to like the uh, the old 1990s, early 90s, like 89 upper deck. Looks like we got a uh, another 10-4 insert. So this is the second one we're getting. And it will be Derek Jeter. Very nice. So the 10-4 inserts were hitting big. Derek Jeter and Cal Ripken. Nice. This one looks great. A little bit dinged up on this corner, unfortunately. But it is of Derek Jeter, so that's a really good one to get. Derek Jeter, Cal Ripken. I love that. So we're looking for more... Uh, Looking for a grass kickers, looking for a Ripken collection, looking for a Club 3000. I pulled, so the Club 3000 set's a really interesting set that Fleer did in 2000. Um, it is a insert that you, that is inserted throughout all of the Fleer products. So I opened up a hobby box of 2000 Ultra. You can see that video on my channel. It was a great break. I pulled some outstanding cards in it. But I was able to, there's another Mark Quinn. That's the second Mark Quinn we've gotten. But I was able to pull one of the Club 3000 cards, and it was of Carl Yastrzemski. And those inserts are inserted across all the Fleer products from that year. And since I've been, I guess, uh, by chance, I've been ordering so many hobby boxes from the year 2000, not just from Fleer. Uh, maybe I'll pull another Club 3000 card. Looks like there's something in here. Not sure what that is. Is it... Oh, hey, here's, a, here's one of the, uh, the Cal Ripkins that we were just talking about. So Cal Ripken, I'll check out the back of this. It's the old school Fleer. Yeah, 1981 Fleer set. So very cool. It's a good looking insert. I like the design of that. Tony Gwynn, one of the greatest hitters ever. got something else in here this card is wow this is pretty bad especially for like a, a somewhat modern day set this is just unacceptable jeez that's ridiculous i can see this on like a 1980 1970s card but like from a from the year 2000 jeez that's rough dividends cal ripkin very nice we're just killing cal ripkin today not literally but like we're you know Getting a lot of his cards. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. We got the 10-4 insert, the dividends insert, the uh, what's that one called again? The uh, Ripken collection insert, and then I think we got a Ripken base in like one of the first few packs. Now the pile of open packs in the corner here is really building up. And another who to watch, Matt Riley. Getting tons of these. We should have 12 of them actually for the odds to be correct. Cleveland Indians, Boston Red Sox. Coming down to the wire here, starting to run out of packs pretty quickly, actually. Which is a shame. I'm really enjoying this box. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it, too. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I would love for you to uh, stick around for some of the new videos I have coming out, including the 2001 Fleer Tradition box, which I will be opening up fairly soon, hopefully. We have another Who to Watch insert. And let's see, Sosa, McGuire, Williams. Here's an A-Rod. All right. Something's in here. Dividends, Ben Grieve. Grievey? Grieve? Never knew how to say his name. It's another dividends card. Very nice. Carrie Wood, Ricky. Okay, another something in here. Greg Maddox. I like how there's an insert in every pack. It's always exciting. Another Cal Ripken throwback. So what year is this? I think... This reminds me of the Michael Jordan rookie card, actually. So I might say 86. What year is this? Oh, it is! <laughs> I was totally right. Design taken from the 86, 87 Fleer NBA set. I was like, this totally reminds me of the Michael Jordan rookie. But I wasn't sure if they were going to include their uh, their basketball issues. But, eh, that's pretty cool. I like the Cal Ripken Jr. on that set. That's pretty sweet. I like it. Like Piazza and the end of that. 
Good looking cow. What are the odds of get? I can just keep it. One in 30 packs. We pulled two of those, so beat the odds with the Cal Ripken collection. Beat the odds with the uh, fresh ink autograph over there. Very nice. Another card. Like, look at this. This is ridiculous. Got a dividends of Tony Gwynn. Nice. That's a good name to get. I like Tony Gwynn quite a bit. I mean, look at this. Juan Gonzalez. I can barely read it that. That is just, that's awful. That is just poor quality from Fleer. I mean, granted, it was 20 years ago, but it was also the year 2000. Like, cards were basically getting squared. Looks like we got a, yep, this was like a Club 3000 insert coming up. So that's super exciting. I'm going to put that one towards the back. I love the look of those cards. So this is really exciting. There's Mark McGuire base. Nice, so good pack. Is that Derek Jeter? I think that is Derek Jeter. Yes, yeah, so we got uh, Derek Jeter. Very nice. Jeter, McGuire. And who do we get? Rod Carew, Club 3000. Look at this card. It's just amazing, beautiful. Like a thicker card stock to it. And these inserts are just... I love the, the idea of inserting the same insert set across a ton of different products. I wish that idea would be brought back. Like imagine if Topps did something like that. That would be... Pretty fun to do, actually. But nice, we've got a Club 3000 insert. I'm running out of room to fit it in, in the camera screen here. I'll just uh, put it right there in the middle because we only got two packs left and then we'll be doing the recap. Make it a quick recap. Don't want this video to be too long for you guys. And look at this, another one, Jeff Kent. This one's flipping all over the place. And dud of a pack now we are down to our last pack 2000 fleer tradition i've enjoyed this break very much so hopefully you guys have as well let's see what we get out of this last pack is it another club 3000 there's another club 3000 in there oh my gosh let's put that towards the end there's a card sticking to it peel it off there we go all right well, let's see what this club 3000 is I think I ended the 2000 Fleer Ultra box with the Club 3000 card as well. All right. All right, let's see what it is. George Brett, very nice. George Brett, Club 3000 going along with Rod Carew. So great break. Uh, let's go ahead and get ready for the recap. All right, just finished up going through all the cards. And as you can see, over to the right of the screen are the two big stacks of base card. And over here, we have the pile of all the inserts and notable cards that I decided to put into top loaders. So let's go ahead and start with the inserts that we got. We obviously started off with a ton of these die cuts, the Who to Watch die cuts. Got tons of these. Um, unfortunately, the checklist for this is not impressive so not a big name not too many big names that we could pull from it and we didn't really pull anything from it at all of course we got a few extra dividends inserts um those are the the lesser names i decided not to put into top loaders and then uh, i'm just going to go over the base cards real quick so we got uh, cal ripken jr oops i just hit the stack over here cal ripken jr base card got a Derek jeter base card we got a Derek jeter world series card Got a dividends of Cal Ripken. So we really scored big with Cal Ripken in this break. Dividends of Ken Griffey Jr. Got a Halls Well Sammy Sosa Acetate Die Cut. That was pretty fun to pull. We got these sweet die cuts of Derek Jeter and of Cal Ripken. These are the 10-4 die cuts. I mean, those just look amazing. I love those a lot. We got these two Cal Ripkins. This one is my favorite. The 86 design with Cal Ripken on it. The 86 and 86 87 NBA design. That is such a cool card in my opinion. I love that one a lot. Of course, we got our two Club 3000 cards of Rod Carew and of George Brett. Those are great. I really love the idea of that set. And of course, we got our autograph, which was a pretty tough pull as it is. But we did get an autograph. I don't know where to put these. But yeah, a uh, sweet autograph. We could have pulled much better autographs from this box, actually. But, um, like, we could have pulled a Cal Ripken or a Greg Maddox auto. 
But uh, an auto is an auto, and it's pretty tough to get an autograph as it is, so I'm not going to complain. It's pretty sweet. So that'll do it for today's break. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this box break. If you guys did, go and like and subscribe for more of these box breaks to come, and I will see you guys next time.